Hey guys, this is Fierce and today we're going to set up your auto executable file. Let's go to your My Computer, C Drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dota 2 Beta, Dota, and Config. Click on Organize, Folder and Search Options, View, and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Click on Apply and then OK. Right click in the folder and create a new text document and rename it to autoexec.cfg. Press enter and then click yes. Right click on the file and go to open with and use notepad. Let's go over some of the stuff I like to use. You can find this information in the description of the video. First of all, I like to enable the console and the voice chat. Since I have two monitors, I like to see Dota running smoothly when I'm all tabbed. I want Dota to preload all the files so I can play a game as soon as I start Dota instead of having a long load time when the game starts. I want the health segments to only represent 200 hit points instead of the default 250 because when I cast a spell I want to know if I can kill them or not. 250 is too high for most spells to kill someone. I want the hero circles in the minimap to be slightly larger than default. I want to see the range of Leshrac stun when I play him and I want a key to turn off the range when I'm not playing him. And I want the courier to grab all my stuff, use speed boost, deliver my items, and then go back to base with a click of one button. For me, I want that button to be number 5, but you can change it to whatever you want. I know a lot of new players don't use the courier, but if you want to be good at this game, you have to get used to using the courier instead of going back to the base. And finally, I like to see my frames per second and my ping during the game. Oh, and one more thing. I like to be able to toggle my auto attack on and off by pressing the number 0. I'll keep it in mind. Is under attack. As needs be. That's it for now, thank you for watching, and I hope this video will help you in your future games.